be a part of history and subscribe to my two YouTube channels and join the 100,000 pharaohs that exist. And of course, follow me on Twitch as I create a radio station from the ground up. They ain't never seen a young black reporter coming like this. Mr. Telefero TV, how's everybody doing? Now listen, there's gonna be somebody out here that says, why are you covering Black Boy JB now? You only covering him because he got a co-sign from the biggest rapper in the world. And to answer that, yes. Yeah, yeah. Let, let's make it clear. You don't affect me. Nobody affects me when you ask me why do I cover an artist? Why do I decide to not cover an artist? If there is nothing to talk about with an artist, and if we're talking about just beef, 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 and there's no music, 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 I'm not going to talk about you. I'm just not about that. Now, if there's some, some tension, but it derives from music, we got stuff to talk about. Or well, music derives from the beef. That's something to talk about, right? And it is as intriguing a storyline I've seen in the year 2018 thus far to see the biggest, I'm not saying the best, but the biggest rapper in the world by far right now consistently posting Block boy JB on his Instagram account, Insta Snap account, you know, reportedly, look, it ain't even a report to it. The, the two have a record together. You know what I mean? It, 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 it's, it's as big a story I've seen in 2018 why Drake has invested so much of his time. He was in Memphis for a couple days with this artist. They went to a Grizzly game. It's a huge story to me. And I, I reached out for the record just to tell y'all, let the Pharaohs know I'm transparent here. I reached out to Block Boy and his team uh, yesterday for an interview. Yeah, I do that, um, and I and, and and I told them I just told wh whoever I was I talked to I think his name I forgot his name but uh, whoever homie was I talked to I just you know told him congratulations. I I don't take that for granted. I'm sorry y'all. It, it it just means something to me to see a young brother from Memphis, a city that I know oh so well, how hard it is to get up out that bitch win like this and one reason why he's winning because the biggest artist in the world who's worked with jay-z um shoot he made a record about beyonce you know what i mean that beyonce knew he's worked with rihanna one of the biggest artists anybody you could think of this guy has worked with him and to see him that invested in an artist with nothing on the billboard charts nothing but a down south wave that has transited, and it's really a Memphis wave that has put this brother in, in a position to get some attention from a guy like Drake. That, that's a story to me, ladies and gentlemen. That's what I want to be covering. That's a story to me, and it's the most in interesting thing in the world to me. And with that, th there's even more intrigue into this story. I've seen a tweet from this young artist named Blockboy JB, and to make a long story short, he moved his mama out the hood. And I've seen Yo Gotti like it. And, and by the way, this is this is Gotti's artist. I'll talk about that soon in the future. I've seen Dolph say it to Hunt. Obviously, Gotti and Dolph don't really care for each other. But this is one of those moments when and it's not like they were talking to each other, but everybody can appreciate this moment. I'm pretty sure Gotti and Dolph can can go back and money bag yo liked it and Drake liked it. All those artists can think about that moment. It's the moment that I'm grinding to right now, to be honest with you. That moment when they were able to move their mamas out of bad spots, right? And it was just one of those moments where nobody cared about anything else. But let's just celebrate this young brother and his success. And that's where I'm at with it right now. So if you ask me why wasn't I covering them three weeks ago, because I didn't want to cover them three weeks ago. I, actually, I did do two videos on Block Boy JB in the past. But if you ask me why we talked about him a couple times in the last week, because I think there's something fascinating about just this, this young brother's appeal to somebody. For somebody that big like Drake, and, he don't, and Drake don't got to do nothing, right? For him to see something in that young artist, uh, like I said, no records on the radio. That's not his artist. And he's seen something in that artist to want to work with him to get behind his buzz that was already bubbling. And, I mean, Drake is going heavy with it. Playing, I seen him in the club with French Montana. He ain't in Memphis no more. Somewhere else, and he's still playing the records. You know what I mean? I just, I, I love the record. That's what that means. I seen him playing the Rover joint in the club. That means I just like your record. I just want to be a part of your grind and your success. And uh, to see this brother be in a position to move his mama out of the hood, I had a joke the other day. I had a running joke. I was like, yo, dang. Yo, yo Drake come do a record with you and, and get a couple picks with you and you you move the mama out the hood? Damn, what, you know, what does it take to run into Drake? I'm joking here, but seriously. Congratulations, Block Boy JB. Um, I want to see your, your buzz get bigger and we are going to link 
according to his manager soon and i got some things i want to ask this young brother about including how in the hell does he hit this damn dance like this i tried it one time in the mirror and let's just say telefero won't be trying it anytime soon <laughs> mr telefero tv i love these stories i love them i like to see my young black brothers win especially when i can relate to their struggle and i know where they come from thank y'all for the time love support i don't take it for granted salute shoot 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 what they hidden for I want to salute you, homie, you know, for, for building your own thing and doing your own thing, creating your own platform, your own website. I got one life to live out my dreams, and I'm giving this thing all I got. I interview celebrities. I talk sports. I represent the culture. Right now, you're turning up on MrTalaferro.com, shawty.